morning everybody welcome on board again we're here again this is day four of um of the, the week um so let's introduce our lovely guests before we uh, move on um on the control desk here which has got a gazillion buttons um is lovely emily morning. there she is and over on the Demonstration station, we have Natalie. Hello. So Good it's a uh, yeah, usual usual crowd here. Um we've got honestly it was so much to tell you, so much to get through. Um we can't keep all these items in stock. We, no, we put can't. them out. Honestly, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, we get no. here in the morning, go right, we're putting this on the show this morning, we set it all up and they go, Oh, it's too late, it's gone. Uh, change over so yes yeah, so we crazy week and um, because it's members week we're trying to give you the best value for money and some fabulous offers um so we need to just remind you first of all you remember at the beginning of the week we did um bunny special day ultimate collection which should be 39.97 and is only 23 pounds and 99 pence it it did actually sell out we managed to get some more um put together but that is now 80% gone, it's almost on the, uh, well, there's not many left. So if you want to get that, because that's a fabulous deal, grab that now. It's a beautiful kit, um, lovely artwork, all printed on Mactastic. It's gorgeous and you will love it, but it's going fast. Um, so, and again, you know, you need to grab it while it's available. Also, our lovely, um, fabulous batch of card blanks, our 100 pack, uh, a mega bundle yesterday, 10 different card sizes, 10 of each with envelopes on at 14.99 um we think it's going to sell out so if you want it you need to grab that as well um it, everything's going so fast because the deals are great um and you know you need to be really quick on this because we can't say whether we can grab more or not it's you know it's always difficult to predict that um we also must tell you about our thousand pound giveaway so we told you about this on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. We're telling you about it today. Yep. We're going to tell you about it again tomorrow. With every order placed by yourselves, you will automatically be entered into the prize draw. Now, if you look on there, this is everything, as Natalie told you today, this is everything that launched in January, isn't it? It is, absolutely everything. Um, so you will see a bit of everything in here, right through from dies, big dies, stamps, um, small dies. We have pop topper pads. Um, we also have our dual paper pads. You can see for yourself on there. We also have our little angels kit. We have waterfall cards. We have, there's inserts, there's toppers, there's everything you can think of on there. Um, and we're going to have three winners. So three of you will be uh, lucky, lucky people to win uh, one of those bundles. Um, also as well, we must remind you that because it's members week, we had a special um decolage sheet made up for you which can be used for spring for christening for baptism for for easter for sympathy whatever you want to use it for for it's beautiful no matter how many orders you place you will get one of these free with every order so if you place an order on monday you'll get one of these if you place an order on wednesday you'll get one of these if you place an order today you'll get one of these um and they're really really lovely and if i can just show you because you can't really get the best effect when it's in the sheet. We've got some beautiful samples here made up for you. This, look at this one. This is divine, and this is with it just one layer on top. That's all. But look how big it is, and look how striking it is. And all these beautiful gems have been put on. Did you do this, Natalie? Um, with with quite a lot of patience. <laughs> yeah, I did it. It's our gemstone rolls. Uh, but you know what? It still but it does look like they're all individual, doesn't, doesn't it? They? I was thinking it creates such a lovely effect. Crazy, though. But it does does really make that beautiful uh, decollage pop out. We have another one here which Natalie made on the show on Monday, I think. Mm -hmm. Beautiful easel card. Look, I'll lift it up and then you can see it putting it onto acetate, shaping the corners. Beautiful, and that lovely um, strip of adorable scoreboard down there just makes it really a really modern twist to it. I feel it's really, really lovely. So that's one of Natalie's beautiful cards, and then again, another one from Natalie here. Nice big card using embossing folders, little piece of ribbon, beautiful, um, and putting all those amazing layers on there to make something that's very, very, so 
lovely and it's going to be um, thankfully received I think from your recipient so that is what you are going to get you're going to uh, get that free gift with every order we also have double discount so club members you will get 10% off rather than your usual five platinum members you will get 20% off everything um, rather than your 10% so just get on the website have a look if there's something you wanted or something that's come back in stock or something that you just fancy treating yourself to um, reap those benefits on those discounts where you can uh, we're going to tell you now uh, just update you again on our winning weekly competition which we launched on monday winners will be announced tomorrow and you are going to be winning da, 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 da. two of you anyway you're going to be winning a mystery box um you won't get it in this box this is just to give you got it, bit. it was so. wasn't it can you imagine oh, oh. um this is just a little uh teaser now just to make you think mm, i wonder what's in there but we have put products in here up to the value of 50 pound and we're going to have two winners let's remind you of that question which is on your screens now what was hunky dory originally going to be called was it a peri dough was it b fancy that crafts or was it c dory hunky or what was it you called it natalie donkey Donkey I don't Hori. even know why. Um, yeah, that yesterday. So it's Dory Hunky is C. You just need to choose your answer, like, share, and comment on this video, and then you will be in with the chance of winning. And those winners will be announced tomorrow. Um, so now we've told you everything. I think we've reminded you of everything there. Oh, the other thing, the fabulous um, exclusive Happy Mother's Day die is now gone, 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 gone. gone. Um, and that's it. Can't get it anymore sorry but it's gone uh, that which is good news for us and good news for those who've got it um you have to be quick though right so now let's introduce you to um the products that we have got on our show today because we have got there's loads oh my goodness there's just uh, i don't so know many. where we store and hide all these products me i really neither. don't me this, neither honestly they sneak into the building they get packed um they get labeled up they get put in a specific um, area of the warehouse, all numbered labels, so everybody knows where they are. And then we bring them out and they go, oh, we're using these today. What? Where did these come from? I haven't seen these. So we're going to show you what we have got here. First of all, um, these are our fancy shaped blanks. Now, um, these are on our Ink Me cardstock. We're going to show you exactly um, all the shapes so you know what, what you get. Um, and you're going to be, uh, again, blessed with a fabulous bargain, because buy one, get one free. Um, they did go out of stock earlier in the week, but we've managed to get them back in stock. And we now have, which I'm going to show you first, because this is fabulous. I love this little one. This is our beaded um, frame card. Look at this. How so nice cool. is this? And if you open that up, look, you've got all those holes punched out. I love that. And I was just looking at this, uh, Natalie, and talking to Emily about it a short while ago. If you tune in to Create and Craft tomorrow to my show, mm -hmm. the items that are on the show might go with this, might they? Oh my gosh, they so would. Just they as really a bit of a difference. So a little, little, we're not telling you anything else, but... You could all, I was just thinking when you held that up as well, how pretty it would be if you threaded ribbon around the outside oh of that. Oh my goodness, yeah. That would make it really It would, different. wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. It'd be nice to see what you do with this. And of course, the beauty of this is you can turn it, yeah, you can have it that way around. if you want to. Um, you could even, I wonder if you could score it, I bet you can, halfway across, cut this section off another one and then stick that on and make yourself a really fancy easel card with oh, that kind yeah. of lacy edge and then thread ribbon or twine through like like you've just said Natalie. so that's now on the website. I believe that wasn't on the website the other day, was it Emily? But it is now. So if you're wanting that... Sorry, I'm going up and down here. I'm driving everyone <laughs> crazy because um, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm looking at what's coming next. Um, you'll be able to get that now. Okay, we've got some really crazy shapes here. And uh, Emily and myself have been having a bit of fun this morning because Emily kept how folding. What, what I know. is it? Uh, Sheila. I don't how, know what the how name do we do this? I don't, yeah, she what kept coming through going, Sheila, I folded this. Which way does it go? Some, sometimes <laughs> we don't even know. <laughs> no, we don't. We're like, um, I think it's that way. Again, you can have it that way. Um, you can do it that way if you want. You, you know, it's a bit like a chair that way, isn't it? I don't know. I, I, please don't ask me what the name of this is because I have no idea. Um, but this is a really fabulous shape. 
shaped card and it's you can so do cool. some fun things with this uh, you know you could probably put like somebody's name on these panels here and again you can i think if you have it that way i think it's fine i think you can have it that way as well you i think you can do it do it whatever way whatever you way you want it. um but basically when you get these if you're struggling you can always you know contact our customer service and we'll we'll tell you how to do it but basically it's kind of your first fold goes one way your second fold goes the opposite way your third fold goes the opposite way and so on so it's almost like concertina style so you will get there in the end but again that's another fabulous um shaped card and then we have some of these with apertures in so we've got two big ones here so these are a5 in size and if you're not a die cutter or you don't have big dies um, but you like to do things like decollage and decoupage um, and and put like maybe f paper flowers in and things like that something with a bit more um, dimension and bulk these are going to be perfect for you we've got that um, oval and we've also got the rectangle aperture there so you can see nice sized um, cards with apertures Oh, this is very exciting. We've got loads. Look at this one. Ooh, I love crazy shapes like this. So this is like, um, oh gosh, this is so very fun. fancy, isn't it? Look at this. This is like a, well, I don't know what to call this. It's, it's like just a, so fun. an ornate fancy label bracket, yeah, <laughs> vintage yeah. parenthesis. It's so Randy fun. corner shape. I don't know what it's called, but it's fabulous. Something you could never cut by hand or with scissors. And that's a six by six. And then we've also got this other uh, six by six with a nice square aperture there, which are always great. These are good for photographs and things like that. Then we have our seven by five with an oval aperture. Again, nice for photographs. Oh, what is this shape? If any of you know what this shape is, please let us know. Do you know what that shape rose. is? It's a rose. It's is like it? a Lancashire rose. rose. Oh, it is. I can see it now against the black of with my top. Points. It is indeed. Oh, hooray for Lancashire and the Lancashire Rose card. <laughs> for all of you not from Lancashire, don't take that the wrong way. I'm a Lancashire girl, so I'm always going to cheer for Lancashire. But hey, you know, you could can be, use that for anything. Hey, the Yorkshire Rose is the same It's shape. very, it's yeah, yeah, almost, almost the same, yeah, different colours. Um, so, and then we have everyone's favourite, which can be a bit of a pain to make sometimes because you have to really work at your measurements on this sometimes oh, when you're cutting it from card. Um, <laughs> traditional uh, gatefold, which we all love. I love this one because this is like a big postage stamp, isn't it? I love Can you imagine it. if this was the size it. of a postage stamp? Imagine the size of the card. Wow, that is so cute. <laughs> this is lovely. Look at that. Again, something you can... You could try it with a punch, but it's going to be really, really hard. So, you know, just grab yourself some of these. This is nice too. I like this. I feel like this is a bit more of a kind of religious feel to it. So if you like making um, projects and things to fundraise for your, your churches. And again, nice to go that way as well for landscape. Um, toppers and things you've got. Oh, now this is definitely for this wedding, baptism. Yeah. Um, christening, sympathy, whatever you need to. And you could probably join two or three of these together and make like a really nice nice screen with these. And then our final one, everyone's favourite, stepper card. This is a centre stepper, isn't it? Because the, the, the big bits in the middle. Bits in the middle where you, you know, that you focus on. Sometimes we have uh, side steppers, but this is a nice big chunky um, stepper card as well. Remember, you're going to buy any of these, you're going to buy one and you will get one free. Um, what you do what? You buy do what? I say you buy one, you get one free. <laughs> Send that man from Lancashire that did the windows in a cape. Oh, I had to do that. <laughs> I, I was going to do it, I thought I won't today. People are probably sick of me doing it, so. But yeah, but I won't get one free. Okay. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to show you now is something that... Um, we use here all the time Hunky Dory, part of our prison range, one of our favourites. However, it has been out of stock and it's still out of stock only for a tiny, tiny um, length of time now, just a few days. We can offer you this. It is coming back into stock. It's on pre order. So if you want to have our 36 prism ink pads, whether it's the first time you're buying them or whether you just want, um, you know, to. Treat yourself to the collection again. You might be like us and you might have a, a, a pot of them under your desk and then a pot in your, in your crafting bag that you travel with. So these will be available uh, from the 3rd of March. Um, fabulous. We love these. We use these all the time, don't all we? All the time. We've got every colour you can think of we in really here. We really do. 
we, we've got we've got black, we've got brown, we've got the pinks, we've got pastel colours, we've got like bold colours and the great little ink pads to hold in your hand are really easy to use. They're water based as well so you can put them onto your uh, glass mat or your acrylic block and paint with them, dilute them with a water brush or a, a paintbrush and some water, um, stamp with them. You can do all kinds of crazy things with them as well um, and I feel that if we go to the demonstration area yeah. Natalie's probably going to do something crazy with I'm them because she usually does. Super um, so, so let's go over to Natalie and see what she's going to do. Uh, are you using the shape cards as well, Natalie? I am. Yeah, so Natalie's going to incorporate the inks with the shape cards and some other lovelies, probably. I'm so let's see excited. what she's doing. Okay, so I have been working on um, some stamps that we are launching at the weekend. And then Emily said, oh, we need to, do, we want you to do a card with the shape card blanks. And instantly I was like, right, I need to do the postage stamp one because this is just the best thing ever. So on... <laughs> This is super, super sneak peek, and I am going to get in so much trouble oh. when we leave this room. But this is one of our new stamp sets. It's called um, Paper Hugs, and it has these really cute little envelopes on. You've got the little stamp, the heart, and then you've got some super cute sentiments. So we're going to use this with our shaped card blank because it's a postage stamp. I have to do this. <laughs> um, so I've popped out my topper, and we are going to have this um, sort of stuck over the top but I want to add some colour so I'm just taking a little bit of scrap card that we have around here and I'm going to use the chili red um, ink pad and I'm going to take this directly onto a little sponge and then I'm going to just do the inner edge so that is why I have added this um, cardstock underneath because obviously it's an aperture card and I don't want the red to get underneath I just want to have a little bit of red um, shining through this um, section here so I'm gonna go oh it's moving now <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way around the edge but this would make a good stencil as well because once I yeah. pop this out you're gonna have sort of the shape on here um, so let's just carry on going around with this colour just working it out to the corners because I don't I don't want the corners to be super white but I don't want them to be like a really red colour I kind of want to get that nice halo-y effect around that that section so once we've um, done that then I'm going to swap my colours over because we have um, red brick which is a really really deep red and I'm just going to concentrate that um, onto the outside section so making sure that onto the inner section sorry just to get more of a, an ombre feel um, to make it a bit more sort of darker in areas I'll just blend that out a bit more and this is really just going to make that red just pop even more around the outside edge. So now we've got that done, we've got our ink ready to go and you can see it gives it a really lovely effect. Um, and then with our middle section, I'm going to have this on set, sort of like a slant. So I need to pop that down on a slant so then I can make sure that my stamps are all going to be secure. So I'm going to use the heart, I'm going to use the envelopes. Um, first of all, because I want to do some um, layering of my stamps here, I'm just going to put this stamp in the center and I'm just going to lightly, I might just lift that up actually so it's a bit further up, lightly just draw around the edge of it with a pencil and this will all make sense momentarily hmm. because um, I want this to stand out, I want my heart to stand out. I want to do some sort of layering behind it. So if you've got um, that shape that you won't be able to see, um, but I can see that, it means that when I go to stamp this down now, and I'm going to use Memento because I'm also going to use some of our alcohol inks. Um, when I go to stamp this, and I think I'm going to put it... Am I doing this the right way around? I don't think I am, you know. Take no, I need minute. to stamp the heart first, don't I? 
I, we can't help you here, Nasa, because we're not sure which, I know, what's happening. I know, so I, I know you're talking to yourself. I know I am. I really am right now. I am talking to myself. So <laughs> we I, don't want to assist you. I've done it. You do it wrong. A little bit wrong. <laughs> so I needed the smaller ones first because the smaller ones I'm going to stack up here and they're going to be on top of my heart. So the images that you want to be in the forefront, you need to stamp them first. And then I've stamped it onto some... Um, sticky uh, A4 masks, which we also have on offer today. Actually, um, you get a they're A4 in size, and they're just like um, a masking sheet that you can stick on like this. And then when I stamp my images, you will see that you get like a really nice layered effect. Now I need to put another mask on here, so that's going to be in the forefront then we need to stamp our heart so let's stamp that using that guide that we created so that can go in the center like so and then i need to create a mask for that heart so using your masking sheet it's super simple to do i'm just going to add a little bit more ink to there you just pop it on um, and it doesn't matter how much ink you have on because it's just sort of a guide and then we can cut around our stamp and you want it to be as close to the stamp as possible um, to be able to create a really good effect when you peel your masks off. So we're going to peel this off. So these stamps I think are going to be available from us from next Tuesday so keep your eyes peeled because it's an amazing selection of new stamps. It really is very cute. So then once you've done that, we can just like we've done with the others, peel it off, stick it on top, and you'll see that you do get a little bit of that black edge, but that's not a problem. Then I'm going to stamp this other stamp just behind it. So it's just going to pop out um, here. <laughs> we've got some um, comments. Um Faith is as is saying you should sell packs of the shapes that are cut out of the middle of the shaped card blanks because uh, they would be great for stamping on and adding to a straight edge card blank. Faith, if you purchase, you? yeah, if you purchase any of these shaped cards, um, and I will show you the packs one after Natalie's um, finished her demo, you will actually get the centre panel with those. You have to push those out yourself before you can fold the card into place. So you will get those. Um, in, in the packs with the cards, so you can at least use those. You know, now obviously it depends how many packs you buy, but you will get those shapes. You have to, they're actually die cut, but you just pop them out and then you can do whatever you like, um, like Natalie's doing now. Um, if that I helps. Had so much fun, by the way. <laughs> so then when we peel this off, you can see you've got a lovely little image. So I've added the sentiment hugs and kisses, which looks like it's written, and then you get this cute little pen. And now it does look really super wonky, but that's because it's gonna line up on my um, piece here, and it's going to not look as crazy. Do I want to add the little heart in here? And then, should I? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Let's that's a conflict. Let's stick yeah, this Emily. over then, because <laughs> we're gonna need a little bit more section here but you can create so much with these stamps just by doing a little bit of funky layering like this so there we go we've got our guy on the inside let's peel this off now and he will be nice and hidden under our little stamp and then we can get to coloring so i'm just gonna not, i'm not gonna go crazy with my coloring um i'm gonna use this light sort of beige color for my for my envelopes and the best thing about these um, pens is that you get two nibs on here so you get a thin one and you get a really big one for if you're wanting to do a lot of coverage like I'm doing now with this and you can see that that um, fills sort of the whole space up so then obviously we need some red for our little heart and I think that this is the darker colour so we can just colour this around 
You love these pens, don't you, Nessie? Absolutely adore these pens. And, and you can uh, do them really well, Natalie. Um, colours. I'm not going to go super crazy things. with my colouring on this. Um, but I have enjoyed, over the last couple of days, making some samples with these. Yeah. Um, and getting really, really into my, my colouring on them. Zara's asked you, Natalie, what do you do if you lose your inspiration? Um, I like to look in magazines. We've got loads of magazines that come into the office um, with sort of bits and pieces of what um, other people have done, what, like different um, ideas of working with your card. So I like to do that. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm a terrible person for... I do this for everything though, not just for crafting, but I'm a lover of Pinterest. It's yeah. so fun to get on there. Um, at the moment, because we're saving for a house, my Pinterest is just full of... Is it house stuff? House stuff, house <laughs> ideas, tiles, um, bathroom colours. It's um, it's pretty intense at the moment. But I think that is the best, the best thing to do, is to just look for inspiration from people. Yeah. Because it can really, really help. So we've got our little heart there. I think this one is lighter. It is lighter. Let's just get that smaller pink. So this is from our reds. So you've got the lighter pink in the middle and then the darker pink on the outside. It's only very slight. Mm. Um, but then I'm going to, once I've coloured this bit in, I'm going to go back in the center with my darker color just on this edge here to give it a little bit more sort of like so it's standing out and then I do have we need I know exactly what color it is we need the 538 which is a really good cherry red um, and I'm just going to do that on the outside of my heart people whole. watching will not um believe that you still do keep your pens in the packs they come in uh, yeah, for, I do. for your colours. They're so actually you... a bit messy at the moment and it is doing my head in. Yeah. Um, but I have to because the colours come in packs that work so well together. Yeah. That it seems crazy to not have them um, you know, in that order. Yes. And it is something weird that I do, but I do do it. No, I know you, you like to I know you said the other day my pens are a bit out of order and I need to to get them sorted so um yeah it's um everybody's got different people some people it's, take them out don't they and have yeah. them like in in um like little packs or sort of like display yeah. places and that's that's a cool thing to do as well um but no i i am very particular and i like to have i like to have them all sort of in in place yeah there's nothing wrong with that so We've done a little bit of red on that there. We're not going to do any more because I genuinely could spend all day colouring this in. <laughs> um, but then we're going to pop this on here like so. So I'm going to take some square foam pads and I am actually going to cut them down because I think that they're going to be too big. And we're just going to pop them in these. They are going to be too big, but I can trim that down. I'm mm -hmm. going to pop these in the corners. Um, if you want to have extra sort of weight holding this down, you could put acetate in the back here and stick it directly onto a piece of acetate. Um, so let me just trim away the overhanging foam pads and then we can pop that off like so. I'm going to make sure that that with those words and those texts are, my text is nice and central. What does it say, Natalie? It says hugs see. and kisses. Okay. If so it's bring that up, you can be able to see that. Oh, yeah. That looks like you've just written it with a pen as well, doesn't it? And it's it's so in such cute. a nice uh, natural font. But then if we put that there for you all oh. to see, you've got a really nice halo effect created with those um, those inks, and you can do so much with your inks as well. Um, <laughs> so and then you cute. have that beautiful stamp, which fits so perfectly. Look at that this occasion. Hat. It's so cute. Look <laughs> <isn't> itself. It? <laughs> Oh, that's really sweet. Love it. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Natalie. That's really nice. And again, it's probably you probably wouldn't think of 
doing something like that with the shape because a lot of the time you tend to think, oh, I need to put some decollage in the middle or I need to put a topper or something, but you don't. You can actually use it with your stamps just like Natalie did there. And um, I just wanted to grab, just to show um, you lovely people at home, when you get your shaped card blanks, you can see that they do come in the pack like that with the centre panel still in or the bits around the side that you don't need to use but you can even if you've got little corner pieces like this you can still use those put those back on or put them onto another card so all the individual uh, die cut bits that you've seen as or you've just seen Natalie use there they are included in your pack um, and you just pop those out so you've got like almost like double effect really on what you can use because you're not just going to get the card you're going to get the panels as well and that will uh, give you more value so now what we're going to do, we're going to show you some more product that we've got um, on offer at the moment. And we are going to start with our Miri Essentials. Everybody needs some Miri in their life, no matter what, uh, what you do, how old you are, what kind of craft you do. If you don't do craft, you know, you can always just use this at some point in your life. Look at these beautiful colours and you can get any three of these for $19.98 or $7.99 each. We've got the beautiful purples there. We've got this glorious kind of deep pink. We've got this lovely greeny aqua teal colour, which is lovely. Then we go on to our red and you're going to get 20 sheets of each um, in these packs. This is one of my favourites. This is lovely kind of rust copper bronze colour. It's really, really lovely. This next one is divine because blue is my favourite colour. This is blueberry. I love this one. Oh, this is so nice. It's so yummy. Oh, it's so lovely, this one. Um, you know, Miricard is pretty... Uh, amazing we use it all the time here it's 220 gsm because it's got that foil on top it does actually feel like it's like it's chunkier um really really great for doing all kinds of cards construction you know chopping up matting and layering you can use it in all different ways we've got this fabulous look at that blue as well that is just so um electric and then we have beautiful emerald green so these are on offer 7.99 for 24 sheets, uh, or you can get three for 19.98, which is a substantial saving. Now, we can't show you all the coloured Miri without showing you some of our favourites here at Hunky Dory that you buy from us all the time. We have our fabulous gold. Um, this is probably our most used, I think. I think so. I think so too, definitely, because we do Miri mats as well. Um, we, and, and you know we do the tiny mirror mats as well that you can use with your topper decks which are were on offer and are still are if we've got any left in stock we're not only giving you gold though for 9.99 we are going to give you silver look at that silver you can actually see the monitors and the and the cameras and everything you can see the ink pads we can turn it that way you can see um natalie over there as well um, amazing this is great look at the price 40 sheets is that is that right yeah. rich gold sunny silver and of course oh my goodness oh we have to show you this as well this this is these are so heavy 40 sheets 9.99 that's a crazy price rainbow we love rainbow um because you can see all those colors obviously like a rainbow <laughs> um so and that and that really picks up on the colors that you're using and it looks it even looks great with like stamped projects and things like that don't forget you can still use your mirror get your embossing powders out dig those out and use those with with the mirror as well you can create some really really fun effects so that is your mirror now we're not finished there with mirror because you'll remember recently we launched some new Miri and this is just bonkers because this is Miri Rainbow Radiance look at this um, now this is newer to us so this is 30 sheets at 11.99 um, it's glorious look at it I love it if I turn it around this way as well you will find that it's different on this side so it actually shades down a bit more like a rainbow would whereas this one has the um, diagonal effect but then we've also got in here haven't we got that absolutely yeah, crazy. bonkers crazy one if I point to this here, we've got that one that looks almost like um, not a dartboard, like a bullseye effect, um, and it's swirling round. 
um, it's amazing these circles of color so you're going to get um, 10 of each of the three designs a fabulous fabulous set of mirror and then our final mirror this is another crazy one mirror geometric shimmer this one's so cool oh, this is bonkers isn't it again it's like it's a bit like crazy paving it's a bit like taking a trip to outer space. And um, this is one that I stood that you can buy anywhere else either. No, I don't think you can. Here. Yeah. And you're going to get 30 sheets of this again. A4, uh, three designs, 10 of each. So you get this one. If I turn it round, you get the one that's got kind of more pinks, purples and oranges. And then the remaining design is, is just like this, but smaller. So you're going to get smaller geometric shapes. Really, really lovely collections. 11 um, for 30 A4 sheets. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pop across to Natalie and see what she's going to do for us now. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so um, we're going to mix and match the Miri with some acetate that we've got coming up on the show. So I've chosen that beautiful blueberry. We've got some of our stunning silver, which is an essential. So we're going to use this. Um, we're going to also use an embossing folder and some of our Moonstone minis, which are available to win on that incredible prize. So I've got a five by seven tent card, first of all, and this is what we're gonna make with. So what we're gonna do is using my trimmer, I'm gonna fold out my card and I'm gonna cut from my uh, score line here, we're gonna measure that to one and a half and then I'm gonna cut that down to one and a half and then we're gonna cut the remainder that we have left over here we're going to cut another one and a half strip. So this is now the front of our card. And you're thinking, well, that's not a card because there's a big space missing. What are you going to do, Natalie? I've taken a piece of five by seven acetate and we're going to run it through our embossing folder. Now, you might need to use an extra bit of shim in here. When I ran this through the Gemini, I put a piece of um, the embossing shim in which is a really sort of thin uh, plastic so that's you're going to run that through your machine and then when it comes out you get this absolutely beautiful wow. effect it's kind of like um, when you're using embossing um, folders on uh, parchment and you get that really nice white effect mm. um, but it's just so beautiful it was kind of really rounded when I put it through the embossing folder and that's just because of the pressure but I've Overnight, I've flattened it by putting it under a really heavy box of dyes. So it has actually flattened out quite a bit. And we're going to wedge this in between here, decorate this up with some miri, and add some beautiful sentiments. So to stick it down, I'm going to use some red tape because red tape is super strong and I think it's going to work amazingly with this um, sticking this acetate down. So I'm going to put some strips on both outer edges and the middle just to make sure that that doesn't budge. And then we'll do the same on the bottom section because um, we are going to still keep this um, bottom panel just to make sure that um, there's a lot of sort of weight um, at the bottom and it doesn't sort of flip or fold. So then we can peel off the back ends and we can put our embossed acetate into that middle section. Is it going to come off? There we go. So then we can lie this flat on here and stick that in place. And then with my bottom section, I'm going to make sure that it's flat because it is actually over slightly here. So if I stick this down, then we'll trim it off and make sure that it's all, all in place. So I can pop this to the bottom section because obviously you want them to be at the same height and then I will move my acetate down making sure it's in line and then we'll just pick it off. I'm not actually sure whether I trimmed this last night before I cut it so it might be just slightly over but when you do it at home you can make sure that that is the correct size. So now we have our um, acetate panel in there. So we're going to decorate that up now because obviously you've still got that space that you can see. So I'm going in with stunning silver and this is one and a half by 
um, five, which is the same as the strips we cut before. So we can just layer those directly on there. And I'm, again, I'm using um, red tape for this because it's embossed, you are gonna get a little bit of sort of bobbling um, on your mirror, but we're gonna cover it up with that beautiful blue. So this is just, um, just a panel, first of all, just to cover the first section of um, the embossing. So we're gonna put that um, just to one side, and then I'm gonna take my blue Miri and we're going to trim this down so my panels are one and a half so I think if I cut it down to one and one quarter that's going to give me a nice edge and I might be able to fit both of them out of this one sheet so I've done that at one and a quarter so that's five so if we do that at four and three quarters and let's just check that that fits nicely on there you get a nice blue section we'll do another strip so one and a quarter by four and three quarters and that can go over the top and then I'm actually going to put a panel in the back of my card of this beautiful blue so we're going to go um, four and three quarters by six and three quarters and we'll pop that in the back so then I did get some ribbon because I think I'm going to add ribbon to it as well. Mm. Um, so I've got gone with some blue, which isn't massively, it doesn't super match it, but I think it worked really, really nicely. Yeah. So let's just trim that down. And then we can stick our mirror in again. I'm just going to use the red tape again as I've got it to hand. Um, and it's good to, when we're sticking lots of layers together, um, the red tape's going to be super strong to use it with. So three on there, three on here, because I need to stick that ribbon to the outside edges. And then for this, because we're just going to pop this on the inside of a card I'm just going to use some regular double sided tape so we'll stick this in first I don't think I've cut it down to the right size actually I knew it was a bit off what did I cut it to? I bet I cut it to seven didn't I? seven and three quarters instead of six and three quarters oh, oh well it's we've not fine. stuck it down yet yeah there you go it's absolutely so fine so six and three quarters and then we'll stick this to the centre I've got lots of uh, love for the Miri and the Geometric Miri. Lots of people have got it. One lady's got it. She bought herself some, and then Kirsty bought herself two packs, and then her mum bought some as a gift. So she's uh, she's, she's well and truly stocked she's up got on loads. yeah on the Miri. Um, uh, lots of people are liking the um, effect that you've just done by using the acetate with the embossing folders. Um, and lots of people are really enjoying um, just the the savings. There's and so many savings that you yeah. can get at the moment. It's yeah. incredible. The deals are there for yeah, sure. Lots of people are on about uh, making their own invites and savings for Yes, I was. I absolutely love. And it's really nice, I think, as well, if you go the whole hog and do like this table plans yeah. and uh, you know menu oh. cards and things. It's it's just really nice to then just receive photographs or if you're not actually going to the wedding to see photographs of how it all looked when everything was done and how you got nice comments to say I loved the invitations um, it, it's very rewarding and there's a lot of hard work goes into it I think a lot of people are saying that they they have to keep like doing a few and then stopping because when it's the same design over and over it can be a bit uh, a kind bit of tedious yeah but they, so they do a few at a time but this is looking really nice and it's lovely because it's all just blue and silver. I know, it's also um, really fancy, isn't it? So yeah. I got from my Moonstone Minis the Happy Anniversary um, dies. So I've already cut out my base panel. Mm -hmm. um, so I just need to cut out my sentiment and I wanted to cut that in blue. Nice. So is this going to fit on here? 
Possibly not, but we have some on here that we can use because I'm going to cut out my flower as well. What is your greeting there, times. Natalie? So this says happy anniversary, anniversary which I think okay. worked really nicely with like the hearts in the background and sort of like the choosing the bluey colour. Mm. So let's stick that on and we'll just pop this on here as well. You could kind of create this design, couldn't you? And then do it for like a silver it wedding anything. and silver, do it golden wedding, yeah. uh, ruby with the red. Um, yeah, it'd be really nice. And then it'd especially be. if you're making and selling, you could yeah. say, well, I've got this one. Really like this design. Well, I've got it for silver. I've got it for pearl. I've I got it do for it a diamond. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. Or even like favourite colours, because some people, like even if it's not, you know, a special anniversary, will have. Um, like their favourite colours, won't they? Yes. So, yes. My flower is stuck in here. Am I going to be able to get it out? I need a little release hole. There we go. We can pop that out. I'm just going to squidge these little bits out as well because I want to run that back through again. Um, one more time, just get another another flower so this um flower and the flourish Ooh. are separate aren't they even though they're yes. on even one though day they're together. Like together yeah yeah, yeah. they're separate um when they pop out which i think is good because sometimes you um when you've got loads of little dyes like this they're really easy to lose so when they're kind of attached yeah um it, you, they're bigger so you're less likely to lose them yeah and then uh, it's gonna be a real pain now because I'm going to cut out it again in silver. Nice. So we've got two blue flowers and we will have um, a silver one too. So let's just get that out from there. And then I can run it back through. Have I got a smaller piece? I might have to cut this down just to give us Shelly's asking, she says, Emily, Sheila, Natalie, because you craft all day for work, do you still like going home to craft or is it something you try not to do at home as you do too much of it at work? Um, it's an odd question that, isn't it? Because I'm probably, I probably craft less than I used to Yeah. before I crafted and worked crafting every day. But I still do a fair bit. I just don't possibly do paper crafting at yeah. home. Yeah. We're both kind of keen, keen, uh, soft crafters, aren't we? Because you yes. do a lot of knitting. Yeah. I used to knit, but I've turned to the dark you've, side of crochet. You've gone to now. crochet now, haven't you? The dark side. To be the honest, I think um, I, it's it's all I think of all the time from morning till night. Um, I, I, I pop food in there as well. <laughs> yeah, it's all I think about. Before I go to bed, I'm always thinking of what I can make. Um, when I wake up, I'm thinking what I can make. It's always been the same for me, and I think it will be till you, you know, till I stop breathing. Um, and like Natalie says, it doesn't have to be paper craft. No, it can be like it can be any house crafting. Craft. Yeah, I've got lots of stuff. Like DIY. Do. Yeah. It yeah, can be definitely. Anything, but I'm always constantly like very creative in the way that I think. So yeah, I think that adds to it, doesn't it? Do you do any crafting at all, uh, Emily? I do art. Yes, she, of course you do. Such you, a good artist. you draw, don't you? Yeah, I like uh, art. Um, yeah, yeah. That I knew you. I knew you did something, and I couldn't remember because one of our other girls used to do a lot of art, and uh, she's not here anymore. But I, I and I couldn't remember which one of you it was that did it, but yeah, it's, uh, everybody likes to... We're all creative in our own little way, yes. aren't we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So then I've popped the blue onto the silver just to make my sentiment pop a little bit. Um, I've used some white craft glue to do that, um, and I've used it sort of on my hand because it's miri. Um, when you get glue on it, it can go a bit nasty. Yes. So either do it this way, where you just pick a little bit up and then put it on, or um, I would recommend cutting it out using... Um, do you know what? I might put that on foam pads. Mm. That'd be nice. It works really well on there. Um, I've totally forgotten what I was going to say now. Um, what were we talking about? You were saying about, were you going to say you could use our oh, double-sided I was, double-sided adhesive yep. sheets. 
um, and then it sort of takes away that having to use glue because it's your mirror has sort of like got that sticky back effect. Yeah, yeah. That keeps happening to me really recently. I can just be having a full on conversation with someone and then I'm like, were we talking? What were we talking about? All the time, it's bad. Yeah. It's very I think bad. It's, uh, I think it's just um, part of life at the minute. Part of life. Yeah. You just don't know what's going on. No. So I keep then, thinking about different words to say and then I don't say them and then there's a pause and I think, what? Well, yeah, what was I going to say? I don't saying? know. Think quickly. I don't even know. People are waiting to hear yeah. what are you going to say. What are you going to say? Are you actually going to say anything? Yeah. So then my flowers, I'm actually going to put my flowers up in the top corner. Um, I think nice. I'll just use two different ones and then... Um, oh, actually, you spoke for choice, aren't you? I know, I've got so many. So I'm going to put three of the flowers up here. And really then sweet. I might put like a flourish. Yeah. Just in the top corner. And nice. then obviously I'm gonna add a bow. And yeah. then I was thinking you could do this. I'm not gonna because I think there's a bit too much going on already. But where those hearts are in your embossing folder, you could add pearls. Oh gosh, yeah. You could add blue pearls or silver pearls or whatever colour pearls you want. Definitely. Um, but you get super, super creative with that. So let's use a bit of our construction glue. And I've had this the wrong way around, so it should come out straight away. I More love the pop. construction glue, but if you have a construction glue explosion, it can be, uh, oh, it can be deathly. deathly in your two -bot toolbox. <laughs> it really can. You know, and especially if you'd left it overnight. Um, I think I drove down to Peterborough with mine in my toolbox, and the lid was off, and it, it you know, driving around the corners and stuff, the, the glue tips over in the car. When I got there and opened my toolbox, everything, all my tools, my knife, my scissors, they were all just set, sat in a big lump of congealed construction glue. Um, and it's honestly, really painful to get oh off my as goodness, well. it I was can't sticky. even describe to you how no, painful it was. No, it was sticky, remove. sticky. Um, it was um, very, um, what's the word? I don't want to say pungent, but it was the aroma oh, was oh, there. It's, it's pungy, it's, isn't it? It's like, whoa, it is this pungy. is fresh. Um, you know, it was quite. Um, it's a bit like when you take when you sniff Vicks if you've got a cold, but you sniff too much of it. It was a bit like that. Um, so do make sure your top is on it, or, or put it in a bag or something if you think it might be falling over because it it can get messy um, and it will stick your stuff together. It's great glue, um, but it will stick everything together. So I did that the other day actually. It wasn't with Vicks though, it was with um, Tiger Balm. Oh, Tiger Balm, yeah. Because I woke up. That it is, yeah. And I had the most, and people will be able to relate to this because I think everyone's probably thinking this at some point in their day. I woke up and I couldn't smell anything and I was, okay. really, I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's my time. It's <laughs> happening. It's <laughs> happening. <laughs> so I had to go to the bathroom. I smelled all, I smelled like every single body shop product. Yeah, that I take had. all the lids um, off. Take all the lids off, make sure I could smell it. And, I, and then I opened a bot, like a tub of Tiger Balm and oh my gosh, my eyes were watering for ages. I was like, okay, I can smell. I can smell, I'm fine. It's okay. Yeah, sometimes you get a bit congested, don't you? The thing because the weather keeps changing as well. We're all, I mean, I've got like two quilts on the bed, a big woolly blanket and a furry blanket. So it's a bit like um, an Eskimo being in an igloo. <laughs> yeah. And then you wake up and you, you, you're like congested and your throat's dry. And I think it's, um, I think it's because we're getting, it's been so cold, we're getting so Freezing. tucked under everything that we're actually just blocking our own airways. So, um, but yeah, Tiger Balm, I, I had to, I had a, a bad foot and it recommended putting, it was my heel actually. Um, it recommended on, online putting Tiger Balm on it, and I was the same. I put it on, I was like, Whoa, it's smelly, didn't isn't help it? the foot, but it was very uh, there in its uh, odor presence. It's good <laughs> stuff, though. Yeah, so I've added some um, pearls to my flowers, and that's going to help it actually stick down a little bit too because I haven't put loads of glue on there, so and I really should have, but um, we can do that at a later date, and then I'm just adding. Um, three pearls to the bottom here and then I've added three up there just to make it all match up nicely and then you can see that because you've got that really heavyweight acetate it's beautiful isn't it super shiny though it's amazing it's a bit of a, uh, a camera killer <laughs> a camera killer yeah it, it's 
because it's, it's crazy, so but it's shiny. lovely. And you've got obviously the acetate is going to glare because of the the patterns inside it. But you can get really funky with what you do. Oh with your gosh, yeah, for it's, sure. it's amazing. Thank you, Natalie. That's okay. Um, that's really lovely. And um, because you saw Natalie use the acetate there, we do have, as you know, we love our acetate here at Hunky Dory. Now we've got here. Um, we're going to show you this pack. I can barely lift it up. It's so heavy. So this has a hundred sheets of our um, acetate in. Now it's A4 in size. You can get it in the 140 micron or the 220. The 220 is the one that you usually see us using because it's great for construction. We use it for boxes, crackers. Um, you know, we, when we make like a, a layer of the front of our decollage or decoupage, we use it. It's fabulous, but you can get it a pack this size for 99.99 in either of the weights. The 220 is the heaviest, obviously, and that is the best for construction. But if you're just wanting something a little bit thinner for like a simple wrap or something, the 140 will do as well. Um, and we do sell them in five sheet packs too. Um, and we also sell them, because I've got a pack here, in 30 sheets. Um, so have a look on the website. That will give you, um, there you see, uh, five sheet packs, one ninety nine. You might only want a few. You might not find you would use 100. So we do have the five packs as well. Um, now then, what we also have, and I'm just going to move the mystery box here because I was I was running out of space and I, and I couldn't move anything because I didn't want to crinkle all the packets while Natalie was demoing. So we're going to show you now what else we've got. So we've got some of our fabulous adorable scoreboard in two sizes. Oh, so it. let's just grab these because, again, I'm short and these are big. A3 and A4 adorable scoreable. Now, if I hold up A3, it's actually, it's difficult for me to see you over the top um, because A3 is pretty big. And if you like making boxes, um, these are the things to get. Um, obviously, it's adorable scoreable, so it's 350 GSM. You use it on your scoreboard and it gives you the opportunity to make something bigger um, if you like doing construction. These are available for 11 99 and you're going to get 50. Is that 50 or 30, Emily? 50! 50. 50 sheets. 50. Um, oh, that's the A4 though. Oh, 50 for A4. I, I yeah. I, yeah, sorry. A4. Sorry, I've picked up A3 here. Um, so if you get a 50 A4, which I'm going to show you some colours in a minute. Um, 24 A3. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought it, this I doesn't feel that thick. like, that's hefty. So this is how many sheets? Tell 24. me again. 24 sheets of A3. And what's the price on that, Emily? It's still the same. Um, so basically what you're doing is, you you know, you get the A4, which is half the size of that, but the same price, obviously, and it's doubled that. So that is available um, in black as well. <laughs> and white chalk, which is lovely. So if you like working with black and white, eleven ninety nine, 99 um, perfect. Let me show you, though, our A4, which I should have picked up first, because you can get these in just single colours. Ooh, so, there's a lot. 50. There's a right. lot. Honestly, let's just, let's just do it really quick. Let's just do it like this. So you can see colours. You know what colours we have here. We have white, we have black, we have red, we have green, we have grey, we have peachy caramel colour, we have a red, we have a spicier red, <laughs> we have a yellow. I love that yellow, you I know. do. I love the brown too. Brown, is, brown card is really hard to come by, as is grey. So if you want it, you need to get it here, because we have it. Right, I'm going to pop that down there, because we're not finished yet. We've got lilacs. We've got this... Um, What's the name of this one, Natalie? This do you is know what? I don't actually know the name of this, <laughs> but I do know the name of what it was going to be, and it's hilarious. Okay. Rainstorm! Rainstorm! Rainstorm. Rainstorm. I don't it. know why I shouted it, sorry. We've got um, lighter blues. We've got mid blues. We've got kind of electric blues. You reminded me, you reminded me of that song. What's the what song, song, Emily, that goes? Da -da 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 Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Um, I feel like Was it the one by, yeah, it's she drinks a lager drink, yes, she drinks a, yeah, a whatever, a whiskey one. drink. That's what you were at. Yeah. yeah. Who was it? That? Was, it was it Happy Mondays or something like that? No, no, not Happy it Mondays. Was, it's a, it it's was a really weird, they've got a strange oh, name. Yeah. They've got a really strange name. They played it on the radio the other day, it was the best yeah. thing. She drinks, she drinks a lager drink. She drinks a lager drink. She, she drinks, drinks a whiskey, whiskey drink. drink. She drinks a something drink. 
drink she makes a something drink. drink. You know, and I was thinking, I was thinking of the other, I was thinking of Chumba Wumba. that's of it, yeah. Of course. Do you know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of Craig David. <laughs> <laughs> Took her for a drink on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were making love by a Wednesday and all that stuff. I loved that song. But yeah, we've got we're mixing it all up, aren't we? <laughs> oh, I like a bit of Craig David. She um, has a, a sneaky horse with her music drink. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these greens. How many greens can you have? Loads, because we have them all amazing. here. I know. Look at all you those greens. All. And then you can have this lovely kind of fuchsia colour. You can have a bright pink. Magenta. You can have a lighter pink. <laughs> you can have a paler pink. Oh, I'm gonna have to listen to that song where we get out. You can have a though. peachy pink. So funny. And you can have a whitey pink. <laughs> um, so those are our the best. adorable, scorable, fifty different colours which we showed you there, and you can get those in a pack of fifty for eleven pounds and ninety nine p. Now we are going to go over to Natalie. Um, give me a rest, let's calm down <laughs> from all that pop music and go and see what she's going to make. I was just thinking to myself as well, do you know what time it was when I heard that song on the radio? I was driving to Crate and Craft, it was um, 5.45 in the morning. I was going to say, a bit ridiculous time in the morning, wasn't it? Was it was crazy, it was yeah. so much fun though. Um, so I'm going to make a no glue box, now this is really fun, um, but we're going to make it out of our A3 Miri. So to start off with, oh I knew that was going to happen. It's not Miri either. What do you need? Did I say Miri? Yeah. Oh, I mean adorable squirrel. Where is it gone? Can see that. Is it dropped on the floor? Yeah, I've lost the thing. Right, stay there, sit, stay there, and I will get on my hands and knees, see if I can, can find see? it for you. It hit against this, I think. Did it? I can't. Can I move it? I can't see it, but I can probably go and grab you one. Yeah, maybe we just need another trimmer. Okay, I'll grab my trimmer. I think mine's on my desk. Okay, I think. Can well, I see just it? grab the trimmer. Just talk amongst yourselves. This happens all the time. We've got a little a little thing here that if you get it in the where the groove is where you add your new blade in, it pops out and that's what's happened. <laughs> well, what are you doing today? Got any plans? What are you having for your tea? What are you have for your breakfast? Everyone's laughing. I had an apple for my breakfast. Yeah, I'm trying to start eating breakfast. So I'm going with fruit. That's so, it's, not good, it's, good breakfast. it's not a good breakfast. I would have porridge but I don't like getting up early, so I struggle. I have to eat in my car. Thank you, Sheila. You're welcome. <laughs> there we go. And there we are. Yay. Back to business, people. <laughs> so, you want to cut this? I held that then because there was no way that that was popping out. <laughs> you want to cut this to 12 by 12. So, I'm going to trim that down and then we'll flip it over and we'll get that. It doesn't actually go to 12, it goes to 12 and it's like 11 and a quarter but it doesn't matter you just have to put and i'm going to use my template just to make sure that i cut the right size yes yeah, so you have to put i'll show you when we do this so the first thing we're going to do is put on our scoreboard our box and you want to have it the 12 by 12 size on this for this cutting bit so 11 and three quarters is for the next bit so it has to be on the 12 side when you're doing this section so we're going to score at one and a half and then we're going to score at ten and a half then we're going to oh then we're going to flip it over um, and we're going to then this now is eleven and three quarters as you can see we're going to score it at seven and um, seven and three quarters I've written my measurements down well weird. I've written them down. <laughs> 3.75. Who even does that? You do. Yeah, but why would I do that? It doesn't even make sense to me. But is that not inches? 3.75. Yeah, yeah. But I just don't understand why I've written it like that. Oh, I would okay. normally write it in like... Oh, three percent. and a, like three, three and three quarters. Yeah, but I wrote 3.75. Yeah, because we normally do centimetres like that, don't we? Three point, oh, do we? Oh, gosh, no, I'm confused. <laughs> Because <laughs> we, we do really awkward time sheets as well because if we go to Create and Craft we very often have to do like two and three quarter minutes, hours or a 15 minute slot, not a 15 minute slot, but you, you, um, until you're doing it you don't actually figure out how, you, how no, you're doing really it. Don't. When we're filling the time sheets we end up doing 2.75, whereas I always want to do two and three quarters, like two and three quarter hours, but then because we have to do it, it doesn't make sense. 2.25, 2.5, 2.75. So... 
We're both as bad as each other on math, so we're just really ignore bad. us. So <laughs> three, I'm going to tell you the right measurements for this. Though. Good. Three and three quarters, then five and a quarter. Then you want to score it at nine and at ten and a half. Okay. Now we're going to do some snipping away. So you're going to cut your cardstock. Um, we're just going to take this section away, which it will be the sort of like odd section where you've just got short of an inch. And then what you want to do, and this is the fun bit, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to score. I'm going to fold all of my edges first. So I'm just going to fold them all in like so. And then this way. And then this way again. And then I'll turn it over to do this section here. And then with our scoreboard, I'm going to do this. And I'm actually going to do it on the back side. So I'm going to layer this up to six. I'm going to put my score tool there and then I'm going to move that so it's at the six and push it up to the top. And then when you score across the six, da -da 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 -da, <laughs> you get it, you did get it, I've moved it. You get it straight across the edge like that and you want to do that on all sections. So you're going to do that on all of your little squares you've created just you want to create a score like so i don't know why it's not in a groove in a groove yeah it's just not getting in a groove we were in the groove before we were weren't in the we groove. <laughs> we've ruined it there we go we've got it now and then we're going to fold these sort of like in on themselves so you want to create this section here so fold in the outer section into the inner section like so so you've got you fold there and then the same on this side you want to fold it inwards and when you do this if you can sort of pinch the cardstock as I'm doing here mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to get that in straight away and then the magic happens when we hold our box up like this, Perfect. then you slot in your cardstock, and you might want to, um, to make this easier, you can um, round off these corners, and then it just slots in nicely, like that. that, and your box is sort of ready to go. And then I've Perfect. got some cute little panels that I cut from the Magnolia, um, adorable scorable and our floral pattern packs that I'm just going to stick on there to decorate my box. Took some time but we get there in the end. You could put all sorts in there can't you? Oh my god you could honestly you could put some little sections in here keep some buttons keep some bits and bobs. You could put um, some pens chocolate, in chocolate. Chocolate. It's super wide make. so you can fit loads of bits and things in that you um, make yourself. Yeah it's really so nice. Pop another one on. And then I've got my top layer, so I'm just going to stick my um, adorable scrubble on first onto this top panel, making sure that it is nice and even. Like we've, so, <coughs> we've got um, some people asking about their um, orders. Obviously, we are. Absolutely, everybody in the warehouse is working um, as fast and as hard as they can they are. to get the orders out. I think we are dispatching um, or working on Mondays and Tuesdays orders at the moment, I think aren't that's we? What Dan said, yeah. That's what Dan told us just before we came live on air to say that um, we have got everybody working frantically to get orders out as quickly um, and as smoothly as possible. Obviously, please bear in mind that. Um, we We're are working to social distance aren't yeah, we? under very very difficult circumstances and have been for the whole year we've managed to be able to carry on with with orders um and obviously our couriers that bring bring the parcels out to you as well are working in difficult conditions and it's amazing if normally before covid happened we would have three or four people at a desk 
you know, using a computer, waiting and then say, you can have it now. And we would be within each of each other. Now we have to be two metres. So if you imagine how difficult it is, and <laughs> <laughs> just like Natalie, she trying, to, being so trying like to hold a box. Sensible then, and I just dropped the box. Honestly, it's like Mark and Wise, isn't Might it? Drop. <laughs> Where while he's trying to tell a story or something important about the next guest, the other one's peeping behind the curtains with a walking stick and, and a pair of wellies on or something. So, yeah, so there's Natalie's box anyway. You can open it up. Look at it, it's beautiful. You can put all kinds of lovely things in there. Um, Thank you, Natalie, You're for welcome. that. Really clever. And you couldn't do that unless you had a three card oh, stock, no, you could which not. is one of the bonuses of getting a three double scoreboard from us right now while it's on this great deal. Um, but yeah, please bear with us. Um, we're trying to get your orders out absolutely as quick as we can. We've got um, additional staffing as well. And obviously, if you bear that, if you think about that, we're having to still social distance with those as well. But we've got a really good one-way system going. Um, everything's safe. Everything's good. And we're doing it as our utmost to get everything out to you. I mean, people are coming in working Saturdays as well just to get those orders dispatched. So um, please just um, be patient. It will be with you as soon as we can get it out. Um, no, we just need to tell you a few more things. Let's just remind you of that Win It Weekly competition. We've got so many mixed answers for this. Um, the winners will be announced tomorrow. Two winners where you're going to win a mystery box worth £50 worth of products and goodies. What was Hunky Dory originally going to be called? Was it A, Peridot? Was it B, Fancy That Crass? Or was it C, Dory Hunky? Like, share and comment on this video and you'll be entered into that prize draw. And you will might be, might possibly be a lucky winner. Um, so we have um, shows on Create and Craft tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning with myself and then again at 2.15 with Pauline. We will be launching our new decoupage apertures. Um, really cute little kind of concept card. Um, quick and easy to make but but quite striking, aren't they? Yeah, they're really A little bit pretty. different, bit dimensional on there as well. So really, really nice cards that anybody can make. Um, so join me in the morning and then Pauline tomorrow afternoon with those. We are going to add a product to the rollover box, which is this lovely, lovely um, topper set. I love this. Look at that school bus and the globe and the school books. And you've got some sentiments as well on here. When I saw this, the first thing I thought with that bus, get those windows cut out get some of that lovely 220 uh, micron acetate in there and, and make it like a proper fun uh, bus. So that is going to go into our rollover box as soon as we have finished in here this morning. Um, our next Facebook live show is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Now tomorrow, I think Natalie will be hosting it, am I right, Natalie? I'm not sure who's doing what Okay, yet. and no, then we to, have... Need to talk that through. We have a visitor coming in tomorrow. You will all be thrilled to know that Anne-Marie is going to pop in tomorrow um, to do Facebook Live with Natalie and Emily for our Thank Craft It's Friday show. Um, obviously, we're going to have Spin the Wheel on there. There's going to be some demonstrations, some more incredible offers, and the winners of our win weekly competition uh, will be announced as well. So it'll be a fun pack show, 10 a.m. in the morning. Um, we would just like to say thank you for joining us today. We've had a lovely show. We've had some... Um, laughs and some fun. It's we are just funny. totally uh, bombed out with product here. It's it's everywhere. <laughs> Natalie's done some beautiful makes. Emily has kept everything uh, connected. Yeah, because yeah, we've had a couple of glitches this week. But um, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for your customers. A uh, custom again, as ever. Please be patient and wait for your bundles coming out um, and all your uh, orders. It will be worth it when it gets to you. And we will see you tomorrow, whether it be on Create Craft or here live at Hunky Dory. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm.